I was ready for another project photo rescue, so we went straight to our military families to find the perfect candidate. Just wait until you see how I helped Jamie get from being overwhelmed to overjoyed about her scrapbooking. I'm here today because you said, sign me up, I wanna do this, <laughs> yeah. I'm in. So my first question for you is, why now? Like what, what's on your mind as of late that's making you feel like this sense of not urgency, or maybe it's urgency, but this feeling of, okay, I've got to get this figured out. I feel like life goes by too fast and too quickly. And through seeing how fast my kids have grown up and just, you know, through the process of just things that we've been through, I just like, I need to do it now. I mean, through being military, everything's always changing, nothing's ever constant, and now that we finally got orders here, it's like, all right. But what else? What's When you think back and you step back 30,000 feet and you look at this bigger picture, why does it even matter to you? I want the, the kids to see the memories that they have made or um, generations to come to share them, you know, maybe an experience that, you know, a trial that we have had to see that there's hope on, you know, in the other end that, uh, that everything works out. When you do understand, like, why does this even matter to me? Then it really will be grounding for you as you go forward, because you are going to have days, you will, you have, no, and you will, <laughs> that you're like, forget about it. And I don't mean days, I mean seasons. You'll have a month, weeks, months, or whatever, could even be years where you're like, I just can't even think about that. But when you remember, like, I know this is important for me, for my family, because, and you keep that centered, yeah. then it does keep you motivated. Being a mom, I think most moms could relate. I gotta cook, I gotta pick up the kids, I gotta do this. You just wanna just kick back and eat ice cream on the couch or, you know, and watch <laughs> yeah. a movie whenever the kids go to bed. And But the key to that will be, well, if I'm going to make this happen, how do I make it happen so it feels like an easy rhythm? It's mm -hmm. just something that I do, and it's not something I think about and go, oh, forget about it. Yeah. When you're like, okay, I'm in a scrapbook now, where do you go? Where do you do it? I have, we have a loft, and so I've had that into like oh, my, nice. my craft area slash scrapbooking, you know, mm -hmm. stuff, so. Do you feel lost on knowing what to do next? There's moments where I'm just like, oh, I don't want to pull it out because the kids will get into yeah. the scissors and the glue. What's the experience that you want out of it? I would like, for the kids to be engaged mm -hmm. on a certain day, whether it's family home evening where we do it together or when you know military wives where we have like a scrapbooking party, but I'd also like where I have my moments where I can do it alone and I can ponder and think of mm -hmm. those things. I think when, which I'm really bad at, is writing down mm -hmm. those memories because a lot of people just put their pictures but they don't tell the story. When you think about the next six months, year, five years, what are some of those goals that you have in terms of what you want your scrapbooking efforts to look like? I would like to achieve probably like one or two scrapbooks probably this year. Maybe okay. the kids will do their scrapbooking and I can do like two pages during that time. Okay. And then like if we do it once a week, I, I can see that mm -hmm. I can accomplish probably like two scrapbooks. It's gonna be hard, before, you know, to, oh, yeah. <laughs> to get things done with the third, but I am determined. If you've got goals and you're gonna work toward them, where is this gonna happen? Where in your house is this gonna happen and where's that space? So do you mind if we take a look? When it's time to scrapbook, you envision that in this space, which is just clean right and open, there, yeah. you can just kind of plop down and go, okay, what do I need? Yeah. I can pull it out yeah, and then exactly. spread it out and you actually do your scrapbooking on the floor. Yeah. Scrapbooking stuff starts here. Just, like, it's this, oh, I see fabric, this, yeah, so. and then what else? And then this all of this, yeah, full of. And all of that. If I were to say, hey, Jamie, how many scrapbooks do you think you've done? Mm -hmm. If you were to guess about how many scrapbooks do you think Probably you've done? Like Four or five total. Four or five total. total. Okay. Yeah. This is it, except there's probably one. Oh, see? See? But I thought of it, but it's just it's just my old one when okay. of when I was a baby. And Guess what? Up. What? That counts. That counts. Yeah, that totally okay. counts. Okay, this isn't just about like the scrapbooks that you have done like in okay. the last few years. What I wanna do is say of all the scrapbooks that you've ever accumulated, made, created, received, uh -huh. let's gather those into one spot. Okay. Jamie, remind me how many scrapbooks you thought you probably had? I probably had... <laughs> I was going by 12 by 12. I thought I had like 10, 11... I think you said four or five. Oh, four that I'd be completed. <laughs> yeah, four or five I completed. Oh, you were thinking completed. completed. Yes. Oh, okay. No, no, no. no. I, so I reality is... I had like 10. 
How by many my scrapbooks do you have in the works here? <laughs> now, tell me in general, are these mostly scrapbooks that you have started and not finished? Yeah, the You're majority are. Books? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can we have a look at those and just get a general sense of like what you've been scrapbooking? Yeah. Does that sound good? Okay, one at a time. Cool, this yeah. is. This is a bunch of stuff from and high you, school. You actually put this together. Yes. This is, I was this like, is so I was like, yeah, I was in middle school. And so we scrapbooked. So these are pictures when we first dated. We dated for six weeks and then got married two months later. But oh my goodness. Pray about it, you know. And we've been married happily almost eight and a half years, going on nine. So dating. They, that was the dating pictures. We saw the sunset uh -huh. together. And then these are the engagement pictures. Uh, white sandy beaches. Pretty wild. I have a feeling yeah. this was in Florida. Yeah. All right, another 12 by 12 album. Oh, this is. Oh, this is, we forgot about this one. This is Mackenzie's. So this yeah. is for you yeah. to keep. And she is precious. Jeez. This whole process, this is one of the biggest reasons. Like, if there's any scrapbook that I would want to try to get done, is honestly like the journey from the beginning of like pregnancy of all the pictures because I never did it with any of my others mm -hmm. yeah. like but just to have it done before he comes before I introduce mm. the pictures of him into it so it's just like the maternity and the journey of which is like gosh I wish we had something that could help you with that <laughs> I know my feelings as an outsider looking at your scrapbooks and how great it is to see the pictures and the memories and things like that but you're the documenter and so when we regroup, we'll talk about that and that will be what helps us to know how we move forward and making a game plan. Meeting Jamie for the first time and seeing how many scrapbooks she actually had was such clear communication to me straight away that she has a love for memories and for photographs and this is really important to her. Walk me through a little bit of maybe some of the experiences that you've had that have impacted why you care so much about documenting, why that matters so much to you. Um, just because you just never know what's gonna happen the next day. You don't know if you're gonna be in a car accident or you know something tragic could happen to your spouse or you or your children. And so there's just been instance instance that Dave and I would talk to each other and he would, um, we wouldn't know, you know, am I gonna make it the next month? Will I make it the next anniversary? What will happen, you know, for the years to come? So documenting scrapbooking um, for me has just become, I think, more important than what it was before. It's not just fun, it's things that I want the kids to see and to remember. And I know that you have a desire to increase no, your yeah. journaling, but here's the other thing about it. Definitely. Journaling doesn't have to be huge journal entries. I don't need pages and pages of of long stories to, to get insights about a person. But when you're putting pictures and stories together, sometimes even just having a little short anecdote or story to go with the picture is plenty, yeah. right? Oh, can I, him? can I? Oh my gosh. Oh. Uh, my belly. Oh. Move. I can't wait to meet him. Oh, yeah. hi. <laughs> oh, I love that. Do you feel like it would make a difference for you if maybe your method or your process was simpler? I like the creativity, mm -hmm. but there are moments where mm -hmm. I wish that. You okay, just had more done. Yes, exactly. When you think about, I wanna make this baby album, I wanna make it really soon, and I also have all these albums that I wanna finish, what, where do you start? I think that it's a really good idea to start with whichever one you're the most excited about. Because if I'm like, oh, I just wanna get through this, I'm just kind of like ready to move on, that's not motivating, that's like, I'm dreading it. And I thought you might say the baby one because I know that, hello, five in days. five days, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's showing up. I know. And I know that you're excited to have something set up. So yeah. <laughs> uh, the good news for that is that I really think that you can actually have um, an entire album, like a full 12 by 12 album, completely set up and ready before he comes, awesome. for sure. I would love to show you Project Life. You've heard of it, uh -huh. um, but you don't know really much about it. No, I don't. And um, before we met, you were not familiar with what our company is or anything like that. And so I would love to teach you okay. and show you what Project Life is, and then we'll see if it makes sense, if it's a good fit for you or not so much. Something that I noticed as soon as Jamie and I got talking is that she's really doing an awesome job at involving her kids from a very early age in this whole scrapbooking thing, which is amazing because she's teaching them in their youth how important and how special this is. One thing that I noticed, especially after starting to look through Jamie's scrapbooks, is that there was no journaling. And so I'm like, where are the words? And so if I were her great-great-granddaughter, and that's the mindset I was thinking about, 
I would love to know more about who are in these pictures. Where were they? Why were they there? What did they love about it? What did they learn from it? And so that was something that I could tell straight away that we needed to talk about. There's just been instance, instance that Dave and I would talk to each other. We wouldn't know. Am I going to make it the next month? Will I make it the next anniversary? What will happen, you know, for the years to come? So documenting scrapbooking um, for me has just become, I think, more important than what it was before. It's not just fun. It's things that I want the kids to see and to remember. Before we met, you were not familiar with what our company is. I would love to teach you and show you what Project Life is, and then we'll see if it makes sense, if it's a good fit for you or not so much.